What's up guys? Chris Yarnett here for Carp3 TV back for another edition of Strategy. The last time we caught up with Jimmy Gobbleboy Fricky, he talked about the concept of way ahead or way behind. In that interview, he also talked about the concept of information betting and said that it's overused. We asked him to elaborate on that point. Um, I actually think I'm going to be writing a book somewhat soon um, and one of the big features of the book is going to be um, information betting as people call it. it it's just the thing is, in a tournament, you have so many shells that you can really fire. You know, you have so many chips at your disposal. And even if you are gaining some information by putting, committing chips to the pot, when you're playing against good players, the bets, all the bets mean something. So if you're putting a bet out there that isn't supposed to mean anything, it's just supposed to gather information, your opponent's going to take advantage of that and know what you're doing. Like, people know that when you make really, really weak pro bets or really weak raises, and don't often show up with a really strong hand, they can just re-raise you and you have to fold. Because the main problem with information betting is that people don't really know what they do, what to do when they're re-raised. They say, I'm raising for information, but when they get re-raised, which should tell them they're beat, they end up calling a lot of the time, which doesn't make much sense. Um, the people who make information betting are not the people who can usually take advantage of that information a whole lot which doesn't, you know, it doesn't end up being a good play. We also asked him about alternatives to information betting to gather information. But I mean, there are other ways to get information at the poker table. There's anything you can do. Like playing in a live setting, like any physical tells or any little things that you just might notice go into making a decision. Um, past experiences with the player, the way they're playing their hands, you know, just like anything is there and you don't need to make you don't need to affect the play of the hand in order to gain information about it, what it is. You're already not trying, like in poker, you narrow down your opponent's hands, but you're not often going to get an exact hand that they have. And even if you try to pick one, you're going to be wrong most of the time. So, I mean, you're trying to go for ranges and betting for information is just going to like give you the same range that you already have in most cases. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Strategy. I'm Christiana for Card Clear TV.